Hello everyone, today is going to be a quick tutorial on my sound packer for multiverses. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into UModel. If you guys don't know how to do this, there's another tutorial on using UModel, but we're going to go into game, WIS audio, localized, and English. And we're going to right click this folder and hit save folder packages, not export. And we're going to select our folder where we're going to store all our voice lines. So mine is right here. And we'll hit OK on that. And we'll wait for this to finish. So now that our audio is all exported, we can close your model. We're going to go into our game folder, WIS, localized, English. We're going to go into events, VO, VO for characters. And then we're going to pick the character that we want to mod. So for this example, let's say we want to mod Steven. So this is where all of Steven's voice lines are stored. There are quite a few of them. But as you can see, they're all grouped by what they're used for. So we have Steven as the announcer. We have Steven exerting himself, movement attacking. We have Steven's abilities. Then we have Steven's character select. We have what Steven says when you click him. We have his emote lines. We have what he says at the beginning of a match. And we have his respawn lines, store lines, which are currently unused, and victory lines. So you can see that we have CTX and the GEN. So the, these are our general use, and they just appear everywhere. These are for when he's fighting or against or with specific characters so what we can do is actually just take generic sounds and fill it with fill all of these with generics and it'll work just as fine you won't be able to tell the difference so what we're going to do now is we're going to copy over these four python files from my upload in the description we're going to paste them here and we're going to also want the WISE unpacker. So I already have it unpacked here, so we're going to put that here as well. And then we can run step one. And you can see that it's copied all of the sounds that it needed. It's taken those out of the media folder and it's put them into this game files folder. So what we're going to do now is go into the WISE unpacker folder, run unpack to mp3.bat and wait for that to finish. And that'll decode all of the sounds into listenable WAV files. So once that's done, we can hit N, doesn't matter. So then we're gonna go ahead and run step two. And what that did is it took all the sounds from our WIS unpacker and moved them into our real sounds folder. Now it's going to put all of the files that were in the sounds folder into this folder based on the name of the corresponding voice line description. Um, so I've put them with replace me at the front so you'll know that these are the originals and not to use those in the final version. And we can play any one of these and you'll be able to hear. When this is over, we need to hang out. So we can we can see we, we're just listening to the files. Gotta get back up. So that's what he says when he respawns. This is what he says on his victories. So what we can do now is we're going to take our replacement sounds folder, and this is where all of these sounds we want to replace are going to go. So we're going to pull in a clip of audio. So right now, let's see what audio I have on hand. So let's use this clip of critical yelling. This is the example that I've been using. So we can paste our WAV file here. Make sure that the WAV file is exported from Audacity in 32-bit float format. And what we're going to do is we're going to rename this based on what we wanted to replace. So this is the list of categories that I mentioned earlier. 
So victory, respawn, match start, emote, clickable, character select, ability, effect, announcer, and store. So some of these you're obviously going to want to handpick, like the abilities. Those are specific to specific abilities. The announcer for specific actions occurring. But things like the victory lines, the respawn lines, those can all just be one line or two lines or however many lines you want to replace in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our wave file and we can name it whatever we want. But we want to preface that with caps, all caps, the category that we want it to be put in, an underscore, and then the name. So this one will just be the victory. We can have one for, I think I have a match start. I have, let's put a clickable in here. So we're going to make our clickable this guy. We'll pop that in here. And we can hear what that sounds like right now. See an emotionless alpha sigma male hybrid fusion. So that's going to be what, what Steven says when we click him. So we name it clickable, full caps, underscore, and then the rest of the name. So then we'll go back, and once we have all our re replacement sounds in order, we're going to run step three. And what that's going to do is it's going to take our wave files from before, move them into a new folder based on how we assigned those names at the start. So we can see there's already an announcer for the victory. We can delete that because we don't really care about the announcer files right now, but all of our clickables are going to be that clickable sound. So it replaces all of them. So none of Steven's clickables are in existence anymore. And it's going to replace all the victories. So now that we have those two, we're going to open up WISE. And we're going to create a WISE project in this folder. So we're going to make sure that it's in that folder right here. And then we're going to name it WI's project and hit OK. And we can hit OK on this. And we can hit close on this. And we're going to go ahead and go to project, project settings, source settings, and hit Forbes quality high. Hit OK. And we're going to hit import audio files. We're going to hit add files and we're going to go back up to the WI's import folder and we're going to just control A and import everything. Then we're going to hit convert all audio files, hit convert, and they should all be converted now. So we can go ahead and close with WI's now. That's all we really needed it for. And we're going to go back into our folder and run. Step four. And now that we've run step four, we basically have our mod done. So we have our events folder and our media folder here. If we go into our events folder, we'll see our voice line descriptions. So this is so that our audio doesn't cut off, so it changes it for all of them. And if we go back to media, this is where all of our actual audio is stored. So our u bulks are edited and pasted in the right spots. So now we're going to go ahead and just take these two and create a mod folder right here. Let's call it Steven, Steven Audio P. We're going to create multiverses. And right now we're just recreating the file path. So now that we have our English US folder, we're going to go back up, copy our events and media folders, and paste those right under the English US, and rename them so that they don't have the underscore in front. And our mod should be done. So now we just need to pack this up. So we're going to just drag this onto our Unreal Pack without compression. 
We'll wait for that to finish. And once that's done, we can just hit enter. And now we have our new mod, Steven Audio. So we're going to put that in our packs folder and start up the game. All right, so now that we're in the game, you can go ahead and Who are you gonna put in the character ring? select menu and click on Steven. I know when you all look at me, you see an emotionless alpha sigma male hybrid fusion. I know when you all look at me, you see an emotionless alpha sigma male hybrid fusion. So yeah, that's how you do audio. Have fun.